Well, hello, this is Peter Combs from Bitamount.com and BitamountLive.com and P.L. Combs Asian Art and all that up here in Gloucester, Massachusetts. And today is Friday, June 25th, 2021, and this is our regular weekly video. We're going to take a look and see what's sold in the last uh, week or so uh, over on eBay and Catawiki, what's going on on the global member pages. Uh, there's been a lot of action lately around the uh, art market, lots and lots and lots going on. And uh, before I get started, a quick follow-up to the uh, Pendolfini sale. Uh, there was some confusion about whether or not the uh, the big vase, the Dotsai vase, uh, sold or not. I've emailed a few people, and they have told me that the vase has sold. Um, I don't know whether it was paid for or not yet. You never know that with auction houses, but it did sell. It sold for about $1.8 million uh, uh, with the buyer's premium, and um, that's that's the story on that. And the charger, I don't know what the story is yet. There was so, there was something going on with, with a buyer. A little, I think there's a little confusion over there. Maybe it's a language thing. I don't know. But at any rate, the vase did sell, and it did well. All righty. Now, uh, let's see here. What has been going on around here? Oh, yeah, the, the, uh, the Bitamount Live site. Uh, a number of new, a number, lots of new listings showing up. There's several hundred listings on there now. And I'm uh, going to quickly run through it because we didn't talk about it much in the last week. And, and it is our website, of course. And uh, uh, we threw some things on there. We've got some more things of our own that are going up this week. We added... Uh, these uh, Korean porches this week. Somebody added some very nice blue and white examples with pretty extensive write-ups on them and reasonably priced, $249 for the sets, not bad at all. Uh, uh, Nice-looking Kangxi examples and other things that have turned up on here. There's some silk that I liked a lot, and I don't. I, don't, I think the prices are really reasonable. There's this. This is almost seven feet long, six foot, uh, six feet, uh, six inches long. This giant piece of silk, uh, uh, silk work, with uh, uh, the the ascending uh, female immortals riding the cranes and precious objects. Lots of detail. It's a really nice silk, and I and as many of you know, I love silk with apricot grounds on them. A uh, nice old piece. This is a 19th century example, probably first half of the 19th century, uh, for $895. And also this rank badge, a nice looking rank badge. And that is, uh, uh, I think this is, uh, what is, what is this? This is the, uh, is this fourth rank? This is no ninth rank. Okay, it's a flycatcher, right? It's not the the goose. The flycatcher uh, rank badge uh, for six hundred dollars. It's a nice one. Silks have gotten a lot of interest lately. We have some silks actually on eBay right now. We're selling for a customer um, uh, that we had to put on the uh, auction side because they went to auction them, and the the Bitamount Live site isn't quite ready yet for auctions. Otherwise, we'd have it over here. But uh, uh, we've we've gotten a, a state we've gotten involved with. They want us to auction some things for them. So. We're doing what the customer wants. At any rate, um, uh, there's that, and then this showed up. This is nice. This is a uh, this pattern. This is a, a, on the Bitamount Live site. Is this uh, 18th century Famille Rose uh, uh, creamer? And uh, what's interesting is the pattern on this thing, on this this uh, piece, is a pattern that you see uh, mostly on on export wares that went to Europe. You find this particular pattern in France fairly often. Uh, it's a very nice one, and the price, I think, is very reasonable, $199 for a nice piece of Famille Rose, um, uh, uh, and as I said, often for the French market. And you'll see the same pattern sometimes with children with firecrackers, but very similarly decorated. Uh, anyway, so that, that's what's going on over there. And, uh, check out the site. Check it out. There's a lot of new stuff turning up there uh, increasingly, uh, and, and we're, we're going to be throwing some things on there that are coming up this week, a number of things, some Amari and this and that. We're finally getting, we've been awfully busy uh, here doing one thing or another, and I'm somewhat still limited with the use of one hand, so that's the way that goes until it's resolved. Uh, and what else is going on here? Oh, on live auctioneers, um, the first uh, two, uh, two parts of the uh, Rob Michael sales have been completed. And if, you, if you're a global member, if you use the global member pages, uh, you want to go over and check out and see how they did. The uh, items that are sold, will, these will remain up here until tomorrow. We're going to update the site tomorrow morning, but uh, we'll leave them up there for a day. People can go check out the prices overall. The prices were pretty good. Uh, they had some lots that passed. I think some, a few consigners got a little overly aggressive on some blue and white wares, but that's, that's the way it goes. The market will tell you what it's worth. It doesn't matter what you think it's worth. But overall, it looks like the sale's doing quite well. Uh, Rob sales always do well, so it's just the way it is. And uh, now heading over to um, 
Uh, there's a lot of other stuff in the global. Page. Also, the uh, online. I meant to mention on the glo on the global pages, the uh, the Sotheby's Hong Kong sale finished up. So if you want to go see the price results there, this was their online only sale, and I think the results are good, and I think that's very encouraging, uh, because uh, increasingly uh, auction houses, even the big ones, are going to online only for quite a bit of their sales because they're finding they're highly effective, uh, and. Uh, that's that. Oh, yeah, we did a video this week. If you haven't seen it, we did a video on fakes and some issues with a couple of, uh, couple of auction houses on live auctioneers and some of the shenanigans they've been up to to try to convince people that things are from estates and from old collections and all this malarkey. Um, so you want to check that out. We did an opinion piece on that. And uh, now what is happening on uh, eBay? This happened on eBay this week. Uh, we t I talked about this robe last weekend because I thought it was very, very pretty. I thought the, the patterning on it was quite good. I like robes, as you know. And uh, the detail of the work was very good. The silk was nice quality uh, all the way around. Uh, uh, nice, nice, nice uh, micro, micro needle work on here. And uh, the, the, the robe ended up selling for $1,325. And that's pretty good for a non-dragon robe. A very nice example. It would have brought more if it had a silk damask ground. If you have silk damask ground, they can even bring more because it's considered a bit fancier. All right, and then over here, this was a great buy. Uh, ceramics and collectibles, the guys in uh, uh, Northern Europe, the, 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 the Shangri-La guys, um, this was a very nice 18th century uh, Rita dish, uh, very focally drawn. I like the drawing on it. It has a little bit of a shape to the rim has a Y pattern spur mark on the back, which indicates 18, first half of the 18th century typically. Uh, very, very nicely done. And somebody picked this up for 52 bucks on eBay. That was a great buy. That was a terrific buy. Um, and also, they are ceramics and collectibles. They, they'll be in the newsletter page this week. You'll, those of you who use the newsletter page, you'll see them in there. They have a sale coming up, and so does, um, I think it's uh, Migulari also is having a sale coming up. More items than usual. And, and these guys have a bunch of stuff up. Um, and uh, some, some very, you know, very, very nice things, as always. And so does Migulari. So you want to check out the newsletter page this week. All right, on there, particularly for those things. Okay, now over here to this. This was something, one of those Nonya Straits, uh, Famille Rose uh, vases. Uh, this was a, a, a rather pretty one, rather tall and sort of elongated. Uh, I, I liked it uh, quite a bit. I thought the colors were nice. I liked the shape of it. And I uh, ended up selling for $1,062. Uh, quite nice. And uh, then on to this was this big jar. Uh, this jar, as I recall, had been up for auction a few, maybe a month or two ago. Some of you may remember it. It was a really nice one. Um, I, I'm not crazy about how, how he angles his camera for photography because it makes the bottom look bigger than the, much bigger than the top. But that's the curvature of the lens that does that. But this is a particularly nice one, and I love the facial expression on this guy. Um, it, it's sort of benign, kindly old guy, and uh, I, I just like I like this uh, vase a lot. And as I recall, it brought about the same price last time. I, I think this was a non-payment issue, which many of you know is a problem on uh, eBay. This is a seller who uh, hasn't sold much. Oh, he's uh, uh, from Buffalo, New York, and uh, it, it, he's dealing, he apparently had to deal with a, a non-payer out of the mainland, I suspect, more than anything, or a, a buyer that's shipping over there. And then over to this was this very nice 18th century relief work, Famille Rose with peaches, and I think this had also had pomegranates on it. Yeah, we talked about this one last week because I just thought it was so nice. It has a slightly ribbed body, relief work, nice overglaze enamels, blues and pinks, and so forth. And uh, it sold for, it did well. It brought three thousand and fifty dollars. But beautiful form, top quality, and probably Yongshen period, I would guess. And then moseying on over to this. This was an interesting thing last week. I had a number of inquiries about it. People wanted to know, you know, is this you know, it's obviously Chinese. It's got Chinese writing on the back, but the uh, seller didn't seem to know uh, a heck of a lot about what it was. And uh, I'd seen these before. Um, this was a, a type of a military medal that was hung out, uh, was, was handed out um, following the 2000, uh, the, uh, or excuse me, yeah, the, uh, t the 2011 um, revolution, uh, or 1911, excuse me, 1911. China might have another revolution coming the way things are going over there, but this was the 1911 revolution um, that, that brought in the Republic period. 
And uh, this was a medal that was handed out by, a gen by the president, or the first president of the Republic period. He was president twice, actually, with a, a couple of years, and then again, a couple of years, there was a gap, and then he became president again in the, in the 1920s uh, by uh, Lee Huan Hong. And he handled these out, and these were called the, 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 the grain, um, a golden grain or uh, 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 metals. They were enameled, and there would have been a blue ribbon up here attached to the top of it originally. It's, it was missing its blue ribbon, but that's all it is. And these, these were given out in, in different uh, 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 grades. There were five grades, and uh, this is about a third or fourth grade one. And it was to thank people, civilians and military, for their service to the country in bringing about the, uh, the revolt and revolution that brought in the Republic period. Uh, it's, it's actually quite a historic thing. There are not a lot of them around. Um, um, this one or one just like it was on live auctioneers a couple of years ago and it, it, it brought about $2,400 or $500. And this time around it did a bit better. It brought uh, 3486 I think that was a very wise buy for someone. Um, these early metals, especially these very pretty enamel ones, are, are beautifully well done. The quality of the enameling on this was really quite excellent, um, as you can see. Very, very fine. And order of the grain. I think, hold on, I think I saved it. I'm at. Uh, order of the precious golden grain. That's what it is. And here are some others here. Um, uh, this is a site that specializes in metals and uh, uh, from around the world, okay, and it's, it's, it's called wawards.org. If you ever need to look up medals, you'll probably find it on there. And this is the highest rank one, uh, set with, um, uh, with uh, red enamel all the way around. And the one that, we're, with, that we saw here being sold is uh, this one here. It's probably, so it's third rank, I would guess, by the way they've placed it. Uh, but beautiful quality, and somebody picked it up for $3,400. Uh, which I think down the road is going to be a great thing to own. And it's interesting for the history. The history alone is interesting on it. All right. And then other things um, that are coming up. Um, this, this is a little shameless self-promotion. This is a silk robe that we have right now up on eBay from a collection. Uh, it's very, very finely done with a damask ground um, and these beautiful rondelles on it and everything. It really is a nice robe. It needs a little bit of a cleaning in a few places, but otherwise it's a heck of a nice thing. And it was bought by a family, um, uh, the, the grandparents, when they were in China uh, back in the 1920s. They, they bought it. They came back with a bunch of textiles. And uh, we're, we're selling them on there. Anyway, it's a nice thing. It's a nice thing. And it, it, sh it should bring, you know, it, sh it, should, it should bring probably you know, $1,200 to $2,000, I'm guessing. All right, now over to uh, some other things that are coming up uh, right now. This closes in a couple of days. This is a particularly nice rank badge. Um, uh, a, a wonderful one, another fly catcher, but very nicely colored, good looking thing. It's up to $170. It's going to spike at the end, probably go to 800 to 1,000, I suspect. But a nice looking example, and that's on the newsletter. That'll be in the newsletter page this week. And then this, this nice looking jade um, uh, belt hook that's been fashioned um, with a jade bangle into a mirror or a magnifying glass. This was something they often did in the 1920s. They would take old bits of jade, as many of you know, and they would make uh, uh, Western objects, useful Western objects out of them. And um, often they made hand mirrors and hairbrushes and things using jade belt hooks. And this is a nice old one. Um, it's not, they, they remanufacture them today and they're pretty good, but they, this one is a, is a nicer one. And there's this very nice uh, dragon bangle where they're fighting over the, uh, Big truck going by outside today. Um, two dragons uh, battling over the pearl. All right, nice looking thing. It's up to sixteen hundred and eighty-three dollars. I suspect it's going to jump up closer to three thousand by the time it's done, just because it's 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 a nice package, and you actually have two good pieces of jade there. The bracelet's quite unusual. Nice, both nice nice pieces of nephrite, and our friend Joshua up in New Hampshire, Chamberlain Antiques, who's a uh, uh, juice one four nine nine. He is selling uh, some things, and he's got this very attractive uh, sort of uh, pear-shaped or, or beaker-shaped uh, vases with flared rims, Kangxi period, uh, coming up. These close on, I believe, on Monday. Uh, they're up to $333. They'll go up a bit more, but these are nice. It's a nice-looking pair. He's got some other th things, too, that are quite good. And uh, I came across this. This is a, a, a painting on glass on mirror that I found, and the, and the seller has no age or no date or anything to it. And I want to show you something. 
Um, get in here. Here we go. This is a beautifully painted thing. And he just saw, he's selling it as vintage. I think it's Republic period. And I think it's very nice. And I like the way the faces are done and the eyes of the people and the, red, the ladies with the red lipstick and all this stuff. But the style of the robes, the facial, the way the faces are drawn, the, the way they did the furniture and all this, to me, this looks like a Republic, Republic piece uh, of glass. And I think it's really wonderful and it's big. It's 47 inches tall. That's a big piece of glass. And uh, it's nicely framed, nicely mounted, very interesting. And I think this is a sort of a sleeper. And they have lots of interesting objects scattered through it. And you have this beautiful scholar's rock coming up behind. And uh, just very, very, very nicely done. It really is. And uh, it's not up to a lot of money. It is up to, uh, what, 470 No, the opening bid is $475. That's what it is. No bids, which is really surprising. I think it's maybe because there's so little uh, written about it um, in the description, and he's not dating it um, and so forth. But to me, this looks like a, re a Republic work. Um, I don't think it's at all modern. And it's at 475 78 bucks for shipping, but it's 47 inches tall. So it's, it's, it's basically four feet tall. would make a wall in a room look terrific. And, and you might grab it on the opening bid of 475 um, uh, the way it's looking. Um, I'm a little bit surprised nobody's bid on it. But it's, the, you, there wasn't a lot of reverse painting on glass done in the 20th century. Um, um, it was sort of uncommon. And it could be older. It could be older. It could even be possibly late Qing uh, because I couldn't find any comps on it. But judging by the brushwork, that's what I think it is. And I think it's one of these wonderful objects that you're gonna, somebody's going to buy it and be really glad they own it. All right, and then the other thing is over on Katowiki, we found uh, a number of things being sold. A lot of the stuff had come from Brian Page over the years, some very nice looking pieces. They'll be in the uh, newsletter page, of course. Um, and I'm gonna go through just a couple of the pieces that's jumped out at me. One of them is, is this, it's only up to, what, 50, 50 euros, is this really nifty little Ming bowl. I like this, one Lee period, but I like the, the, the use, the heavy use of cobalt around the outside and then this very nice, uh, lightly decorated exterior of, of, of vines and, uh, and, and lotuses going around the outside of the bowl. Here's a shot of the bottom. And this is not a high-end item. This is just a nice, genuine piece of Ming porcelain. Really, really is. Um, what size is it? It's uh, 14 centimeters wide, so it's about five or six inches in diameter. I like the little ir irregular swoop to the rim. Um, nothing to complain about. Perfectly nice thing, and uh, uh, it's being sold by a seller over in, um, I think this guy's in the Czech Republic or something. It's got a f 400 to 500 euro estimate. We'll see how it does. I don't know what, he has a reserve on it. I don't know what it is. And also this, this is nifty. This is a, a big Ming jar. Um, and for a long time, they always dated these as being Sung or being Tang or whatnot. And then they found out later that they were much later, um, um, much later meaning Ming. This, this was properly marked. Uh, this came from Brian Page. And it looks like something Brian Page would have sold. Just great. I love the gloppy glaze running down the side. And it's pretty good size. Sort of handsome. It's well potted, nicely shaped. And uh, it's just about uh, eight inches tall. Nice looking, nice looking jar. And it's up to $420. So you want to check that out. All right. And this week, it's a little bit short this week. I, I got caught up doing a bunch of things that I, I need to get done before the end of the day. But um, uh, that's it for the week. Uh, uh, there wasn't a lot of stuff that sold on eBay last week. There's a number of things that were in the newsletter last week that haven't yet closed. So uh, check the newsletter page out. And somebody asked me, can you still subscribe to the newsletter page? Of course you can. Um, on the page is a thing, the sign up form. Just click it and put your email address in there. And you'll get a notice uh, each Friday when we update the page with all the stuff that we find on eBay and Katawiki and, and so forth. And at some point, I think we're going we're gonna to increasingly start putting in more and more things from our own site because it's, it's getting nicely populated. There's a nice range of things turning up there, which I'm very pleased about. And uh, some things are starting to sell. Things are selling a bit here and there and getting some activity. It's starting to turn up in Google searches more and more and more. Uh, this is a penetration process that takes place to get stuff because we're competing against obviously some very large websites out there. And uh, we'll get there, I'm, I'm confident about that. 
All right, and check out the uh, video we did early, uh, just yesterday on the uh, on the issue of fakes and how to uh, some of the ways you can you can look and make sure you're not getting you know taken uh, because there is a problem with that as we all know on the web. It's it's gotten kind of silly um, what some of these guys are doing. I mean it's gotten absurd and it and it, it is dishonest. Uh, period. So any rate. All right. So check it out. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, subscribe to us here on YouTube if you haven't already. We do these uh, at least once a week. And uh, like this week, we did two. Other weeks, we'll do even do three if, if there's a lot of interesting auctions going on. And uh, visit us at bitamount.com and visit us over at Bitamount Live. And uh, join the forum, too. The forum is still doing uh, lots of activity over there. If you have questions on things, um, you can always go to the, use our forum on Bitamount and uh, um, ask questions and share things they're nice people there that uh, use the site and they're they're friendly and they'll they'll help you with things and good conversations all right have a have a great weekend and see you next week thank you bye bye